Hello guys and welcome to another video with Destination Discovery. In this video you will be seeing my travelling by plane all the way across the length of Europe from west to east, starting in Madeira and working my way up to Finnish Lapland, Wapanimi, uh, taking literally the whole day uh, changing at Porto, Milan and Helsinki. You'll be seeing all that, but first I'm going to leave you with some facts about our destination uh, city, Wapanimi. Hope you enjoy. Let's hear some facts then, shall we, about this fascinating city. Rovaniemi is the capital of Lapland, located in northern Finland. It was almost completely destroyed during the World War II, but today it's a modern city, known for being the official hometown of Santa Claus and for viewing the northern lights. When you think, what is the largest city within the European Union? You would think cities such as Paris, Rome, Berlin, Madrid and maybe even London. Whoops, London is not part of the EU anymore. Well, in terms of geographical size, Wovanui is the largest city within the EU, spanning 8,017 kilometers squared, which is larger than all the metropolises I've just mentioned. There are more reindeers here than human, but none of the reindeers are actually wild. The total population in Lapland is around 180,000, while the total number of reindeer is around 200,000. The lengths of days and nights change significantly in different seasons at high altitude areas. Generally speaking, within the Arctic Circle there are polar days and polar nights. Rovaniemi sits at the edge of the Arctic. From June to July, the sun will never set and this makes it impossible to see the northern lights. On winter solstice, there are still a little more than two hours of sunlight, generally from 11am until 1pm. In high altitude areas, temperatures will also change significantly across different seasons. In Lapland, as a result, there are actually eight different seasons. They are mid-winter, snowy spring, spring, summer, harvest season, autumn, first snowfall and Christmas. Each season has a unique landscape. Rovaniemi received the status of the official hometown of Santa Claus in 2010. It is home to the Arctic Centre, which is an institution conducting multidisciplinary research in changes to the Arctic region. Rovaniemi is also a lively student city, with 10,000 students approximately being resident here. In terms of passenger numbers, Rovaniemi Airport is one of the busiest airports in Finland, and the passenger numbers particularly peak during the winter season. In 2012, Rovaniemi Airport was given the title of the official airport of Santa Claus. Hello guys and welcome to another video with Destination Discovery. This follows on from part one, so if you haven't seen part one, please do go back and see that. This is part two of my adventure. Um, so I'm currently in Madeira uh, at the airport here. Um, beyond security, got about an hour and 50 minutes uh, to wait here. We are actually travelling across the whole entire length of Europe today. Uh, we are going from here to Porto with EasyJet and then EasyJet from Porto to Milan and then Finnair from Milan to Helsinki and then Helsinki to Wovanimi which is in the North Finland uh, in the Arctic Circle uh, going from the hot to the cold. Can't wait to share this adventure with you and I shall see you later on.
guys, we have made it here in Porto. Uh, and uh, so what I forgot to mention earlier, that all these flights, apart from the last two, are self transfers. So if one of them's late, then they don't uh, book us another flight, and then we're stuck, basically. Uh, we've landed here 10 minutes early into Porto. Uh, because we are early, we have actually come outside of the main security area here in Porto. Uh, just to have a quick look around outside. Um, and then we've got about two hours here before our flight uh, now on to Milan in Italy. Uh, I shall join you later on. arrived here in uh, Milan Malpensa uh, this is yeah looking happy as always um, just arrived into terminal 
One, we need to change now to Terminal 2. Uh, we are now going on to Finnair. Uh, Finnair flight uh, to Helsinki, which is about uh, three hours from here. Um, we've got about two and a half hours. We landed about half an hour early. Two and a half hours to get to Helsinki. Um, everything's been on time so far, so that's uh, good. And I shall get back to you later on. Hello guys, so we are on the last hour of our leg here to Helsinki. Uh, we're currently on board the Finnair flight. Uh, Dad over here is currently sleeping. He's trying to sleep anyway. Uh, I keep interrupting him. Uh, he's getting annoyed with me. Uh, anyway, we're on our last leg. I won't be able to speak much when I get to Helsinki. So we arrive at 11 o'clock this evening and we've got about a 35 minute change over time for our domestic flight to Lapland, Wafanimi, uh, up in the north of Finland. The current temperature there is minus one. Yeah, it's going to get to minus three tonight, so it's going to be cold. We're going to arrive there at one o'clock in the morning. By the time we get to the hotel, we won't have much sleep because tomorrow we need to be up early for our first excursion of the two days we've got here in Lapland. Uh, anyhow, um, I'm get back to you uh, as soon as I can. Uh, and I can't believe we've travelled across most of Europe in one day. And welcome to Lapland. We finally arrived. Uh, oh, can't believe in one day we managed to cross the whole entire length of Europe, all the way from the Mediterranean climate all the way to the Arctic weather snowing, snowy, and cold. Um, if you want to see what we're up to in the Arctic area and Lapland, please join me in part three of my video next week. Until then, good night.